And I have one, uh, 31415926. In the first merge, we do only 31. And second merge, only 41. And third merge, only 1314. And fourth merge, this order is very important, 59. And fifth merge, because it's a recursive method, it's a step. To the last first, then to five, five nine to six. Then finally, we are going to merge the first half and second half. There are seven merges that happened. Also, need to understand the, the zipper merge each time. How zipper merge can be implemented? We call this algorithm name as a zipper merge. When we have two the two sub list that means just by using the index it looks like two sorted list but actually they are in the one list so we have two index numbers i1 is starting from the low i2 is starting from the middle plus one there's a typo and what we do is while i1 is valid and also i2 is valid we compare values at i1 and i2. Then smaller one, small, if i1 has less than or equal to, i1's value goes to the copy buffer. Then only i1 will increase by one. If I use the i1, only i1 pointer move. Then compare i1 and i2 to values again, then I1 has a smaller or equal to value, so only I want value copied down to the copy buffer, then I1 pointer increases by one. Now compare I2 and I1 again. I want the value, I2 the value. Now I2 the value is smaller in that case. I2 the value goes cut down, that means copy to the copy buffer and only I2 pointer will increase by one. Now compare I1s and I2s. If I1 has less than or equal to I2's value, copy down that value into the copy buffer, then I1 pointer will increase by one. Now compare 0.5 and 4 is copied, then I1's pointer increase by one. Actually, I1 is now invalid because I1 can go up to only middle. That means this while loop is done. But there are still three spots left over. So any leftover in any side in the list one or list two, if there's any leftover, you are going to just copy to the copy buffer. I can say copy any leftover from list or array to copy buffer. Actually, copy buffer is a temporary storage. If you are done sorting, you should copy back to the original. So last step is copy low to high. Only the part of what I sorted from the array from copy buffer because copy buffer has the sorted one. Original array still has unsorted data to original array. If you do that now, original array will have sorted data. One, two, three, four, five, six, nine. This is the algorithm of the zipper merge. And numbering one, two, Um, the rest of them, I want to just check the, the answers.
And only number five, I'm going to go over here. How many comparisons as a total? So I'm going to just trace one by one. Actually, reverse order should be the worst case. If I want to make it ascending order, like insertion sort. And ascending order will be best case when I want to make ascending order. If it's already sorted, that's the best case. But they have the same number of comparisons. That's because it is very consistent. And it's uh, anyway compare and it's a one time each merge. So if I assume it's already just all split it into just one event, then first merge, I need to compare seven and eight. So one comparison happened. And when I do second merge, six and five, second comparison happens. So compare eight and seven, then compare six and five. Now I have two pointers, so I'm going to compare three times. When I compare five, when I merge seven, eight, and five, six, so five and seven will be compared. Then now six and seven will be compared. Then there's nothing to compare. That means the seven and eight without comparison is going to copy. So there were total two comparisons: five, seven, six, seven. I'm going to move on to the second half. Compare three and four. That is now fifth comparison. Three. Then compare two and one. That is now sixth comparison. Sixth comparison. So it becomes one and two now. Now I have two pointers. When I compare one and three, that is seventh comparison. Then one goes down, and when I compare two and three, that is eighth comparison, two goes down. Then there is nothing more to compare, so three and four will be just copied down without comparing. Now I'm going to compare first half and second half. So compare five and one, so that is ninth comparison. Then compare five and two, tenth comparison. Compare five and three, eleventh comparison. Then compare five and four, there's a twelfth comparison. Then there's no more to compare. So five, six, seven, eight without comparing, just copy down. So there were total twelve comparisons. If you trace the ascending order, you are going to see another 12 comparison happens. Now you are going to look at the map assignment. You are going to make merge sort for doubles and for comparables, comparable type, like a object. Then if you look at the child code, main method is already given. You may try by uncommenting. And there is, is ascending method that is very similar to the previous labs, like a selection sort, insertion sort, so you can refer, that, refer to them. And print method for object. So there's another print method above, so you can refer this the other print method to finish this one. And each object knows a two string method. Now, merge sort class. Sort method is written. You can refer this sort method to finish another sort method for the comparable type array. And merge sort helper, this is written for double type array. You're going to refer this to write the comparable type array later. Then merge method is one you have to implement. You're going to have I1 and I2 pointer. Then you're going to have a kind of while loops are valid. You are going to compare, then copy into the copy buffer. So copy buffer will have finally sorted the data only from low to high index. Only the part of the array, not the whole array. Then 
only this part of the array is now sorted, so you are going to copy back from copy buffer to original array, only from low to high. Then merge is done if you copy back to the original. The second part is exact same thing, but array type is now comparable. So you can refer your double things. And selection low high means selection sort from low to high. It means now your for loop does not start from zero. Your for loop starts from low or high. And now your max index is a high. End index is a high. From the high, you are going to decrease by one by one if you are using find the max method. Even find the max method, you are going to search low to high one time and low to high minus one, low to high minus two. You, are, you never start from index zero for array. That is extension. Uh, currently, code post is not ready for checking extension. So you are going to submit your extension to Google Classroom if you do that. If you do extension, you have to uncomment three more lines in the merge sort helper. When the size is less than cutoff, you are going to use selection low high sort method instead of using merge sort. Because merge sort is usually good, but for the small number of data, selection sort is better. So that is the step you're supposed to do. For array one, the data is given, then first merge, second merge, and third merge, fourth, fifth, sixth, and final seventh merge. We are going to write this data, data change at, at each merge. Okay, here is some, uh, what I said about the lab, I just uh, listed the whole. 